Hi, welcome to this Filmmaker IQ tutorial. My name is John Hess and I'm going to be showing you how to scrub a dirty lens in After Effects. I'm actually going to clean specs off of a lens. Okay, we are going to demonstrate on a clip from this uh, short film I shot called Trouble in the Movie Queue about a newlywed couple who can't decide what to put on their Netflix account. Uh, movie Queue. Uh, since I, I shot this about two weeks ago and since I am both the director and the director of photography on this I may not have spent as much care and uh, keeping the lenses completely clean as I should have I admit that is something I didn't do uh, we were moving so quickly we shot the whole thing six six and a half pages in one in about eight hours so we were moving quite quickly and as soon as I shot this footage I looked back and I, oh geez I better clean the lens so luckily everything after this shot was clean but these shots since they're good I wanted to keep them I need to clean them. Okay, so let's get started. I want to. There's my poster. I'm going to get rid of that and let's get into After Effects. So here is the clip in question. Here's our digital slate showing you the time of day. That's pretty cool. I like that thing. And go away, slate. Good. Okay, so we've got two major specs that we've got to deal with here. Got this one in the right corner and this one right on this head. Now you notice throughout the whole scene, the specs never move so that's actually good for us as far as cleaning them up so let's get started let's put a make a new layer new solid I'm gonna use this kind of a tan beige color because that's the color that's predominantly in my shot and depends on what kind of shot you're doing what kind of shot you're trying to clean you may use a different color but for me tan and beige it kind of matches everything that's in here so there we create our new layer mat and I'm gonna take Hit T, bring the opacity down to about 50%. Just so I can see, we're going to start working with this spec right up here. Control T, plus sign to zoom in and holding down the space bar. I'm kind of dragging along. Up oh, there it is. There's our spec. Evil, evil spec. Clicking on the mask, I'm creating a little oval right, just about the size of the spec. I'm going to rotate a little bit. I don't want to cover up completely. I actually want it to be a little bit smaller than the spec. And I'm also cheating. I have an external monitor that I'm seeing the whole image in. So I don't have to see all these little doohickeys. And can I get rid of that? There we go. So you can kind of see right there. I can make it just... That's that's actually pretty good. So I'm taking off that uh, right here, this uh, toggle mass shape visibility thing so we can see what we're doing here. Okay, now in our layer of properties down here, we have a mask. Let's toggle that down. Let's feather the sucker. So right about there. That's pretty good. Now, let's, I mean, it's, it's obvious now that there's a big white spot there. <laughs> we made it the opposite way. Let's change the blend mode from normal to color dodge. Okay. Well, basically what color dodge does is it adds the color of the matte layer, which is our kind of our beige, to the layer underneath. So it tends to brighten. The spec darkened the image there. We're going to do the opposite. We're going to brighten it a little bit. And let's take our opacity down like oh, 25%. Okay, that's getting there. Let's try 18%. That's pretty good, actually. I mean, the only thing now is the color difference is a little bit funky. So, I'm going to add a layer effect, color correction, color balance, HLS, hues, lightness, and saturation. And uh, let's go ahead and try to take some of the saturation out. Maybe take the lightness down a little bit. Oh, that's too much. Let's go uh, negative five. Let's try that. Now, all this is really just a matter of trial and error here. It's trying to find that perfect mix between opacity, saturation, and lightness. And we're back. I dialed in the effects just a little bit off camera here. We have a lightness of negative 17, saturation of zero, and uh, opacity of 30% turn off my view and you can kind of see that you really can't see that spec anymore it's pretty pretty much gone again the 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 objective of this tutorial is not necessarily to completely remove the spec as it to 
make it so that they don't don't become such a magnet for your eyes. Uh, we really hope that the storytelling, the acting, and what's going on with char- with the actors is what's really going to maintain the uh, the um, the focus of the audience. It's, we just want to make sure that it's not they're not looking at the stupid spec. <laughs> So even if it's still there, even if you still make it out, which I can still kind of make it out, it's not an issue. It's not going to become such a big, glaring issue, okay? And as we kind of scroll through, we can kind of see that spec is still there. This this one over here. Spec, spec is still there, but it's not like, it's not really distracting. Not like this, this spec that's right here. That's really driving me nuts. I'm just staring at it the whole time freaking time okay let's duplicate to, to fix this let's duplicate this mass of this layer uh, fix that we did for this spec use the same settings and I'm going to hold down the M key I'm going to delete the mask so now we're now I don't have any mask for that I'm going to zoom in and find where'd it go let me get rid of this where is that other spec here spec up oh, there you are I knew I'd get you Okay, so we see the spec right over his face, his eyebrows right there. All right, let's zoom, zoom, zoom in. Got my mask tool. Oh, I didn't, I didn't do that right. Having the layer selected, my mask tool, and that's about right. That's about the right size. Toggle down my mask feather. Okay, let's get rid of the line so you can kind of see what's going on. Move the feather out a little bit. And wow, that did pretty good. I can see a little bit of color differences between the two. I'm going to drop it down to like 10, negative 10. That's pretty close. Maybe it's a hue issue going down 10%. Okay, I can't make that dot out anymore. So that spec in this particular frame has been deleted. Before, after. I mean, you can still see it if you just look hard enough, but remember, this is a frame. So as the frame goes, you don't see it up. Ah, now, now you notice right here, as it climbs the wall, and it becomes noticeable when it's over a darker area. Now, the point, like I keep saying, it's not about trying to remove the spec completely, as it is just eliminating the magnet effect of the, of the spec so your eyes are not completely drawn to it the whole time and we did a pretty good job so far now the problem is with this traveling spec is it goes all over the place uh, once it gets into this darker area you can see it again okay how do we get that well we fix we um, keyframe different uh, different different kind of uh, layer properties so I have uh, clicking on the layer. I'm going to click the stopwatch for the lightness, the saturation, the hue, and I'm going to click on this and hit T and get the opacity as well. So I know I like that setting for that frame. So I'm going to leave that. Clicking on the layer, hitting the U key brings me up all my uh, keyframed effects, something that's really, really useful. You're not hunting through all the different things. Okay, so right here is where I like it. It still works, so I'm going to put a keyframe, all four of those. And then now as it travels into the dark area, I can see you. I can see you, spec. So let's bring up the lightness a little bit. You know what? That almost did it. In fact, I think that that pretty much. So I'll take the lightness down to zero. Eh, let's the saturation down to like negative 20. Let's go further. Negative 38. I cannot make out that spec. Where did it go? So we have from here to here. I can still barely see it, but you know what? The the audience is going to be looking at the actors. They're not going to be looking at, you know, the marker 792x axes and 248xy axes and judging the particular quality of that pixel. Um, that's really pretty good. And let's keep watching it. As you notice... I can kind of make it out here. It's a little bit too pinkish. Maybe I can just adjust the hue a little bit here. Now let's take the saturation down even further. Maybe the lightness up a little bit. You know, you're not, not 
Let's see, now we're going back into this area. So as soon as it crosses, let's go ahead and take the original keyframes that I had, copy and paste them. And that's, that's passable. Before the dirty lens fix and afterward. And that's it, how to remove specs. Now, obviously this is a little bit of an effort. Uh, a lot easier to just take some lens cleaner and clean the lens. Take 10 seconds to clean the lens on set, but you know, things happen and you need to fix stuff like this. So there you have it, how to clean up a dirty lens in After Effects. I'm John Hess and I will see you at filmmakeriq.com.